Lynette Rice, and you're watching EW's coverage of Comic-Con. I'm now here with the cast of Outlander. Thank you so much for being here. Hi. Hi. Thanks for having me. Nice to see you. It's exciting, uh, your appearance here, because uh, you're obviously showing the first episode uh, of the new season. Did you get a chance to watch it yesterday before you came down here? Um, yeah, we yes. just yeah. got it very recently, right? It's the last few days, so we've all had a little Been binge-watching. Yeah. I was watching it in the airport, and uh, not to give anything away, but there were a couple of moments I had to, like, <laughs> Did you notice the crowd just sort of like warming behind behind you? Guy, like watching. Yeah, it was fun. I, I don't think that constitutes a secure watching. Yeah, probably not. Yeah, probably not. <laughs> I want to get first impressions. Let me start with you. From I mean, what was the first thing that stood out for you when you watched it? Yeah, it's. I think it's a beautiful episode actually. Um, I think the show has really grown. It's sort of deepened. Um, you know. Um, a lot has happened, I guess, in the two episodes, in the two seasons leading up to this, and um, yeah, I think um, I think people are going to be really excited about it. Mm. How about you? Same as the bias, really, and I think it is that thing that it really brings back that Scottish roots that it started off with in season one. So I think it's nice to kind of come fully back round to that. Mm -hmm. I love your age makeup too. I mean, the the period stuff is <laughs> legit. Yes, the age makeup was really. <laughs> Do you have extensive. a lot of age makeup? I know, I know. Used, yeah. I went method, Lynn. Yeah. <laughs> That, so I just got old for it, you know. <laughs> like um, one or two gray hairs, yeah. Yeah. No, I mean, what 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 really blew me away was because I I obviously wasn't part of any of the Clodden stuff. I didn't see any of it. So Sam's performance and that whole part of the storyline was just really. It was so cool to watch it as a completely unbiased viewer and you know not having had anything to do with it. So it was really beautiful. Well done, darling. Oh, well done, you two. Actually, I haven't seen you because I I obviously didn't see their, their stuff in it. I thought it was just amazing. The stuff in Boston is really really strong, and uh, their relationships uh, so complex. Yeah, it was nice but to see the other bits of the story we hadn't seen. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Especially all the stuff. action of Golan and everything. It's nice to get some action. Um, yeah. But I thought it was really very cool. sad actually because it's a real goodbye to to not only Scotland but also to like a lot of our cast. We have to say goodbye to. Mm -hmm. Uh, especially to, to Grant and, and all the Highlanders. Yeah. That's really sad. But we have new people to play with. Yes. Yay. So that's good. That quiet guy down there. What did you, what did you think? We don't let him seven. speak. Yeah. What, what did you think don't, that? They don't, even, they don't even give me a chair. <laughs> <laughs> they don't even get a seat. I'm Rachel. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm, one of the, I'm one of the floor runners. <laughs> I get these guys coffee and snacks. Yeah. And what did you think of the, the first episode? No, I watched it. Yeah. <laughs> All right, fine. No, no, I loved it. I thought it was great. I think it's just it, it's just shows bring in new elements of the show. I'm quite a fan of the show. No, no, really. He hasn't it. watched it. No, I have. I have. I'll just start so <laughs> scouting. Um, but uh, yeah, it's great. I think it's um, really starts off season three in a great place, and you know, mm. loads. Of, you know, ma many ways it can go. It's great. It's been such a long wait for the fans for the new season. Did it feel that way for you? Uh, it, can you think back when they told you this is not going to come out until 2017? Did that seem? Did you? Was there any fear that are we going to lose people? Um, I don't yeah, know. Course, yeah. I think it's probably different for you guys because you had South Africa in between. And well, we started mm. filming this season in uh, August of mm. last year. I mean, our season takes an awful long time to shoot. You know, we're just over 10 months. So I think, you know, logistically, the only way they probably could have done it is if they'd split the season in two and sort of shown yeah. first six or seven and then gone and shown the back half because otherwise it wouldn't have been finished. Um, you know, it's it, it feels, you do like to have that momentum and you do want the fans to sort of continue to be engaged. So it's unfortunate it takes us so long. Mm. But that's just sort of the logistics of making a show like this. And then I think it's nicer for the fans to be able to binge watch, you know, like it come out week by week instead of having a season break, which I think mm. is then yeah. kind of hard because then they'd have to wait again. It's Whereas at least nice. when this is over, it's over. It's been nice having the last few weeks or months actually have sort of build up as well. You know, stars are starting to release a lot more material and that's been nice to see the reaction because we've been working on this so hard you kind of forget sometimes that mm -hmm. people aren't seeing stuff. So mm. yeah. um, it's been really exciting to see their reaction. You had a point you wanted to make. I don't so, take care of that. You must have had the whole two weeks. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It just, I mean, it's, you know, it's, um, it's, there's a lot of love going into the show and it takes time. And I think, I think that's worth waiting for. I mean, I hope, I hope um, we haven't lost some people. I think it will be worth waiting for. But I think it's also given an opportunity for people who wouldn't have found the show originally, you know, who didn't see it when season one came out or when season two. Yeah, they're now finding it. So I, I hope that what we've done is sort of 
drummed up some more stuff. Especially out there in the UK, at least it's like, yeah. Time for I was on the plane uh, coming here and uh, there was a woman watching Outlander season one, episode two, uh, opposite me and I was watching <gasps> and it just felt, I was like, who is that? Who is that person? And it feels like such a long <laughs> who time. Who is that young person? <laughs> young, yes. Why did she see you? In front of did she notice you were sitting there? <laughs> no, no, not at all. Um, oh my God. No, it was sweet. He's in disguise now. <laughs> yeah, right. That's yeah, that's <laughs> And take away uh, the red hair. It's, uh, it was just fun to sort of see, the, you know, that beginning and just remember that time, you know, when we first started and mm. how naive and um, fresh <laughs> and enthusiastic and now look Young. at us. <laughs> yeah, like you two. Uh, One last thing and I'll let you go. You, you guys are so good at engaging the fans on Twitter. Can you tell me, have you had a really awkward moment with an Outlander fan that you'd care to divulge right now? Really awkward. What, like in person? Yeah, it can be in person or it can, uh, no, in person. Like they came up and they maybe hugged that. you a little too long or they kissed you a little too long. I mean, it's not really that. I mean, Sam, do you get them all? We don't really get that. Did you get us after the lovely letter? No, I mean, you know, people are invested in the show, and, I, and that's exactly what we like about, about our fans. They're very invested. And uh, we did get a, a letter uh, from a fan who was upset that myself and Katrina are obviously not together. Um, what? We have a, <laughs> what? Um, they were very upset that we've been lying to them all this time. And, um, you know, no, but, I, you know, Everything aside, it's it's you know it's uh, it's great that people you know, love the show and invest in our characters, and uh, it's uh, you know we do get some great fan mail. This is just this we, get cool, cool, we get the cool, we get the amazing like, random stuff. We wanted to reveal today that me and Rick. <laughs> San Diego Comic Con with They're the adopting a lovely little child together. <laughs> this is happening. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right, that's thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> Stay tuned for more uh, coverage of Comic Con from EW. Bye, everybody.